video coming your way today. I was about to get ready to go out this evening and then I was like, why don't I film it and talk you guys through my kind of like intense smoky eye, really photo, highlighty, glowy makeup and ho, hey ho, ho hey, there is a nudie peachy pinky lip in there as well. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm about to get really close up into the camera so you guys can see what's going on so don't be frightened my face is coming really close towards you right now. Whenever I'm like packing on loads of eyeshadow I always use a good primer. This Sigma one is so good because it really really primes the lids in terms of like making eyeshadows just last so much longer and like making them appear so much more vibrant. I love these. They are a staple in my routine every single time I do a smoky eye. I cannot be without them ever, ever, ever. Because I'm really cool and wild, I spent my Friday night depotting MAC eyeshadows and burning them in a palette. You'll probably have already seen a post all about this eyeshadow palette if you read my blog. So, but if you wanna know more about it, I'll link that blog post below. So I'm gonna start with MAC Texture Eyeshadow. It's this really kind of orangey one here. You guys keep asking me like what I'm putting in my crease and it's this eyeshadow. So, like I just said, I put it in the crease. I'm using a MAC 217 up in here and just lightly dusting that in the crease. This kind of acts as a nice transitional shade and when I go in with my all over the lid shade it just blends so much better that I already have this eyeshadow here. Did that make any sense at all? I don't know. I always find it so hard to like make sense in life generally and then also when I'm applying eyeshadow <laughs> over my eyes. I'm gonna go for quite a bold smoky eye tonight. I don't know why. I'm just feeling Oh, 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 <laughs> goodbye MAC 217. I'm just really feeling it tonight. I'm gonna use Embark by MAC, which is this one here, and I'm just gonna use a clean 217 just to kind of further darken up my crease just a tiny, tiny bit. I always like alternate with the two brushes. First one that with texture on it, I'll now use to blend out some of the brown eyeshadow. When I'm doing like a dark smoky eye, I always bring like my crease colors right into the inner corner. I'm gonna take this one, which is Brun by MAC, on a really good like Sigma packing on kind of brush and just apply that all over the lid, but staying below the crease. Then I'm just using the 217 again to blend out everything, blend everything nice and seamlessly together. I'm now gonna use Carbon by MAC and mainly focus that on the outer corner of my eye, just like in that crease area, just to wing it out, make it a bit smoky and darker. I love bold smoky eyes as always and I just find in pictures smoky eyes always look so good. I'm just using this eyeliner here and just running that really roughly along my lash line. Now is the time I take off my sticky notes. I always like to save my sticky notes by the way so I always keep them on the back of this thing and stick them there for next time. <laughs> sometimes I like the harsh line that the sticky note leaves and then sometimes I don't really. So normally I'll just take another fluffy brush, this one is by Zoeva, and I'll just kind of like roughly blur, 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 roughly blend out the edges. Even if the brush has nothing on it, it just makes them appear like a little bit less harsh. Guys, my eyebrows are in really serious need of some life maintenance right now. They're feeling really unloved. I have moisturizer on, but I'm gonna use a primer just to make sure everything lasts nicely. Rimmel Fix and Perfect Pro Primer is what I'm using. As always with primers, I just take a dollop dollop it around my face and then say dollop a hundred times <laughs> over. Okay, no, not really. And then I just blend it in with my fingers really is what I actually do. I never really normally apply my foundation with a damp beauty blender, but when I have time I do. So L'Oreal True Match plus a beauty blender. That's what I'm doing right now. I haven't actually told you guys where I'm going tonight. It was my mum's birthday this week. So tonight my parents and I and my sister and a couple of other people are going for dinner together to celebrate her birthday, which will be really nice. We are going for sushi, which is very exciting because I love a good bit of sushi. I'm one of those saddos that if I know like I'm going out, I'll plan my outfit for quite a while <laughs> if I'm like quite excited for something. So I know what I'm gonna wear. I ordered this 
dress that I saw. I thought it was so beautiful, especially because it's by one of my favorite new brands, which is For Love and Lemons. You've probably heard me speak about them quite a lot. They have really cute lacy things if you're into like lace gear. I'm just gonna use my Tarte CC under eye corrector. And then afterwards, we're gonna go and see this band play that I love called The Soul Jets. And a couple of my other friends are coming along and going to that as well. If you follow me on Snapchat, you've probably seen what I got up to tonight already. So make sure you guys follow me on Snapchat if you're not, by the way, it's Amelia.Liana. I'm gonna highlight my face with some concealer using the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. I never normally do this in any kind of like normal way. I just <laughs> apply the concealer. When you have the Beauty Blender sponge, you don't ever need to apply concealer neatly because it just blends everything in so nicely. Just for you, it's like a lazy girl's concealer sponge. But guys, how is your new year going? Is everyone feeling positive for 2015? I didn't make any New Year's resolutions like drink more water that I knew I was just gonna break or like go to bed before midnight. Like, I've done that before. They've just not happened. Get on Netflix, guys, and friends just arrived on Netflix. And then, but going to bed before 12 is just never gonna happen when friends gets on Netflix. I'm gonna move back onto my eyes and I'm gonna use a lot of this eyeliner right here in my waterline. It feels so weird. It feels like you have something, something like living in your eye. I just love that because that makes it like instantly more nighttime, much more smoky. I'm just gonna bring this eyeliner and apply it like just below my waterline as well. This is the new Real Techniques brush. I wanted to show you guys it in action. It's the 201 brush and it doesn't really have anything on it but I'm just gonna use it to smudge out this line here. It makes everything so smoky and sexy. Oh, I just love this. Can you see what this brush has done? It's just like smudged everything out, made it look, woo! <laughs> Why do I keep dropping brushes? You should have seen that. I did like a proper baton twirling <laughs> with my Real Techniques brush, but yeah, just made everything much more like sultry. It's quite a dense brush. So it blends it really nicely. Got more into curling my lashes. I think last year was the year I kind of like really got into using my lash curlers more just because it makes such a difference. I'm just gonna powder my T-zone. This Laura Mercier fan brush is everything. I'm using it with my Bourjois Healthy Balance powder. It is just so, so good if you want to like mattify and take down shine but not look overly powdery. I recently hit pan on my Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. I just use it every day so I was so surprised that I hit pan like a year after having it or something. Just look at that bronze though, guys. Okay, this side of my face is now like, I just, oh, I just can't. You know when you just have no words that a product is like that good that describing it like just doesn't do it justice. That is how I feel about this bronzer in the Charlotte Tilbury palette or just most of the Charlotte Tilbury makeup I have really. I think two of my like favorite brands that I just adore the most of my stuff from is like L'Oreal Paris and Charlotte Tilbury. Those are my two the two that I have the most of that I feel the most strongly about their product. This is such a good blush that I kind of rediscovered it in my stash. I remember when I went, I think it was to Mykonos with my friend Philippa. This must have been like a good four years ago or something. Every night when we were there, I'd steal this blush from her and use it. She probably doesn't even remember th this happening at all, but I just remember that blush like just looked so good on her and then I came back to London and I just bought this blush and I recently rediscovered it in my stash. That's the good thing about powders is that you can just use them forever pretty much. Philippa, if you're watching this, do you remember using this blush every night in Mykonos? Probably not. <laughs> Funny how different products can bring back different memories. I'm just gonna do the highlight shade of the Charlotte Tilbury palette on the same brush, just on my cheekbones. If you're an olive skin tone like me, this highlighter is so nice because it's much more golden. I'm not really a fan of frosty highlighters. That cheekbone highlight though. I rarely contour my nose, but I kind of just feel like it today. This brush I remember buying when I had like a MAC makeover at my friend Charlie's 21st, and I think he's two years older than me, so I must have been 19 when I bought this brush. I also bought it with this powder, and this powder has been going strong for, oh my gosh now, must have been like three years I've had this powder. I'm really telling you guys about my hoarder side right now, but at least I use it like three years later and I'm still using this brush and I'm still using the powder. I hoard stuff, but I love it. When I went to Mario Dodanovic's makeup 
masterclass. He's Kim Kardashian's makeup artist for any of you guys that don't know. He always said he likes to bring whatever's like on left on the eyeshadow brush just in this little corner here and sweep it up into the brow because it makes such a big difference. I've totally forgot about that trick and I've started doing it recently and I love the finished look. Alright, I'm going back to my neglected lashes. I'm using this YSL baby doll mascara. <laughs> So I'm kind of like into summiting, summiting? No, summoning. I was like, that is definitely the wrong word. Summoning my inner Kylie Jenner and really overlining my lips. So I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat and Pillow Talk. That bottom lip now compared to that top lip. My top lip's like, looks kind of ill and it's like wonky and like white and dull and my bottom lip's like, kiss me. No words can describe that lip liner and this lipstick I was wearing in my most recent vlog if you guys haven't seen that I'll link it here loads of you guys asked what was on my lips I am obsessed with this it's from by Terry it's the hyaluronic sheer rude rude <laughs> no it's not rude it's a hyaluronic sheer rouge in the shade number one it's a beautiful like peachy nude color these are the most like hydrating lipsticks I own I think they're so so nice and they're Really kind of glossy as well. This is what everything looks like all together. So what do you guys think? Do you like the look? I know it's like a lot more makeup than I usually wear. It's real like throwback Thursday, Amelia. But I just love it, especially when you're going out and you're taking pictures. I think I might actually go and get changed into my dress. Give you guys a little sneaky peek. Hold on. I just changed into my dress, guys. So this is kind of like what it looks like from the top. I'll post a picture on Instagram of it. It has this really cute mesh bit around your arms and then these like beautiful lace sleeves as well. They have it in so many colours. I've done a post on my outfit tonight so I'll leave a link to that post below. Give this video a thumbs up and let me know if you like these kind of like informal chatty get ready with me style videos. I'll leave all my social media links below as well as Snapchat. My dog even has Instagram guys and I have Instagram obviously. I love Instagram so much so all my social media links will be below as well as all the products I use and shades and everything. I hope you guys are having a great day and 2015 is going well for you so far and I will see you in my next video. Until then. Who I reunited with. Hello. Woo! <laughs> I'm so happy. We basically had... Oh, I'm just being an awkward <laughs> person. No, no. Um, Este basically went on like a weird mission, didn't you? Like got some alternatives as well, products that I think are really, really similar, but they're not necessarily dupes. So in case you're after any of these products, I hope you find some less expensive alternatives in here. And